Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, quadratic formula with complex numbers. Now some of you might have forgotten this, but um, if we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, sorry I just went a little bit fast there, you could have then x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is what you would use to find what x is, and you'd use something called the discriminant. And you might remember that if um, discriminant was less than zero, um, you would actually you, you can't actually find the values for x. So that was when b squared minus 4ac was less than zero, would actually say that there were no real roots or real solutions. Okay, now. We, we know that we can actually work in the complex plane, though. And if, let's say, for example, b squared minus 4ac was negative 16. Now, we know that we could write negative 16 as negative 16, negative 1 times 16, which is the same as saying 16i squared. Sorry, 16i squared. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys an example um, using the quadratic formula with the complex numbers and let's see what the solutions come out as. So here's an example. One, I want to solve for x if x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals 0. So I have x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals 0 which means a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4 and c is equal to positive 5. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my quadratic formula. So I have x is equal to, well, write the formula first, and then replace b, a, and c. And simplifying this, I should get, this is what I'm looking at. So let's just keep going. So I should get x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of negative 4 divided by 2. And of course, simplifying this, I should get 4 plus or minus square root of 4i squared. Now, for those of you, if you've just forgotten what we did in the previous slide, all right, for those of you that have forgotten how I got this, 4i squared. We got negative 4 equals negative 1 times 4. And of course, I'm going to replace the negative 1 with i squared. So it's 4i squared. Okay, going back to my equation. So finish off the denominator, which is 2. All right, from this point, simplifying it, I should get 4 plus or minus 2i divided by 2. So from this point onwards, I should get simplifying it as 2 plus or minus i. So my complex solutions for this for x in this case is 2 plus i. So x is equal to 2 plus i and 2 minus i. Now, if I was, well, that, that's pretty much um, the solutions for x. But if I was to factorize x squared minus 4x plus 5, uh, this is what the factorized form would actually look like. So I have x minus 2 minus i and x minus, sorry, 2 plus i. So this is what the factorized form would look like. So uh, if you had already used quadratic formula in the previous years, uh, nothing has changed. Everything stays the same. The only thing is if your uh, discriminant is negative, you will start uh, looking at your solutions for x in the complex, uh, as complex numbers. All right, that's all for the session. Thank you for watching.